isang magandang araw muli sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ray dito sa MathTaker Studio upang maghatid kuli ng panibagong aralin sa Mathematics 5. Kaya naman, huwag na natin tong patagalin pa. Ang tatalakay natin sa araw na to ay solving routine or non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Ang step na ginagamit natin to solve the problem ay binuo ni George Polya na isa siyang Hungarian mathematicians sa taong 1945 at narito ang kanyang mga binuong steps in problem solving. Una, understand the problem. At dito, sinasagot sa ang tanong na what is asked in the problem. Pangalawa, what are the given numbers? And what are the hidden questions? Minsan may mga tanong tayo, may mga problem na kinakailangan ang mga hidden questions. Then, plan. Dito naman ay sinasagot ang mga tanong na what operations will be used? What is the mathematical sentence? Third, carry out the plan or ito yung tinatawag natin solve the problem. Then last, look back. To see if the answer is reasonable or correct. So, let us have our first example. A tailor used 2.34 meters of cloth for a pair of pants and 1.91 meters for a skirt. How many meters of cloth were used? So, ngayon, intindihin natin. Let us, let us understand the problem at sagutin natin ang tanong na what is as in the problem. The problem asks for the number of meters of cloth used. Then what are the given numbers? So we have 2 and 3400 meters of cloth for pairs of points, 1 and 9100 meters for a skirt. Then the plan is what operations will be used? Dahil hinahanap niya kung ilan lahat ang cloth na ginamit, kaya gagamitan natin ito ng addition. Then, what is the mathematical sentence? It should be 2.34 meters plus 1 and 91 meters is equal to the meters of cloth use. Okay, so ngayon, carry out the plan or we're going to solve the problem. Using the 2.34 meters plus 1.91 meters as our mathematical sentence. So first, we're going to write 2 and 34 hundreds and 1 and 91 hundreds. Then let us add. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, 3 plus 9 is equal to 12, carry 1, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4, at huwag kang kalimutan ang ating decimal point. Okay? So the answer is 4.25 or 4 and 25 hundreds. Now, look back. Tingnan naman natin kung tama ang sagot natin. Ngayon, Kukunin natin ang 4.25 and 1.91. Then, let us subtract. Okay? So, gagamitan natin to ng reverse operation. So, kung nag-add tayo kanina, pag mag-check tayo, ay gagamit tayo ng subtraction. Now, let us subtract. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 2 minus 9 cannot be. So, yung 2 natin, ay magiging 12. Yung 4 naman ay magiging 3. Then, 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. Then, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then, the decimal point. Okay? So, if the difference is same as the first addends, meaning you got the correct answer. Okay? So, let us proceed to our problem number 2. A cyclist travels at a speed of 15 
and 5 tenths km per hour. Another cyclist travels at a speed of 18 and 3 km per hour. How much faster is one cyclist travel than the other? Now, let us understand the problem. At sagutin natin ang tanong na what is asking the problem. So, the problem asks for the time of one cyclist travel than the other. Then what are the given numbers? The given numbers are 15.5 km per hour cyclist travel, 18.3 km per hour another cyclist travel. Now, plan. What operations will be used? Dahil ang ating problem ay kinukuha niya kung ilan ang bilis ng isang cyclist kumpara sa ibang cyclist, ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo ng subtraction. Isa pa, dahil sa salitang travel than the other. So, gagamitan natin ito ng subtraction. At ang ating mathematical sentence dito ay 18 0.3 km per hour minus 15.5 km per hour is equal to km per hour. Okay, so let us carry out the plan or we're going to solve the problem. Using the mathematical sentence 18.3 km per hour minus 15.5 km per hour. Okay, so let us write 18 and 3 tenths and 15 and 5 tenths. Then let us subtract. So, subtract from the rightmost part. So, 3 minus 5 cannot be. So, ang 3 natin ay magiging 13 dahil manghihiram tayo dito sa 8. So, yung 8 natin ay magiging 7. Then, let us subtract. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. Then, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. At huwag kakalimutan ang ating decimal point. So, the answer is 2.8 or 2 and 8 tenths kilometer per hour. Ngayon, let us look back. Tingnan naman natin kung tama nga ang naging sagot natin. So, kukunin natin ang 2 and 8 tenths, 15 and 5 tenths. Dahil kanina ay subtraction ang ginamit natin, pag mag-look back tayo, mag-check tayo, ay gagamit tayo ng opposite operations which is addition. Now, let us add 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8 and bring down 1, then the decimal point. If the sum is equal to the minuend, meaning you got the correct answer. So now let us proceed to our last example. Louis sells native lunch sheets for 99 pesos and 99 centavos each and makes a profit of 10 pesos for each lunch sheet. The wholesale from which he buys the lampshade makes a profit of 15 pesos each lampshade. How much does the lampshade cost at wholesale? Okay, so let us understand the problem. What is asked in the problem? The cost of lampshades at wholesale. Then what are the given numbers? We have 99 pesos and 99 centavos. Selling price of lampshades, 10 pesos profit for its lampshades, and 15 pesos profit for whole sale. Now, ano ang plan natin? What operations will be used? Dahil ang problem natin ay tinatanong ng profit at nakita natin dito na dalawang pinagkuhanan ng profit niya, doon sa ang una ay ang profit niya sa tig isang sa isang nabenta niya at yung isa naman ay sa wholesale niya. Ngayon, ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay addition and subtraction. So, ano ngayon ang magiging mathematical sentence natin? Sa pagkuha ng mathematical sentence, una, 
get the sum of the profit of each and the profit for the wholesale. Pangalawa, subtract the total profit from the selling price of the long sheet. So, ang ating mathematical sentence dito ay 99 pesos and 99 centavos minus the sum of 10 pesos plus 15 pesos. Okay, so let us carry out the plan or solve the problem using uh, the mathematical sentence 99 pesos and 99 centavos minus the sum of 10 plus 15 pesos. So, unahin natin kunin ang sum ng dalawang profit sa so 10 pesos plus 15 pesos. So, the sum is 25 pesos na kung saan ito yung kanyang profit sa isa at sa wholesale. Ngayon, ibawas natin dun sa presyo ng isa which is 99 pesos and 99 centavos and let us subtract 25 pesos. Then, let us subtract from rightmost part. So, 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. And 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. And of course, the decimal point. Okay? So, the cost of long sheets at wholesale is 74 pesos and 99 centavos. Tingnan natin kung tama ang sagot natin. Kukunin natin ang 74 pesos and 99 centavos in 25 pesos. Saka natin ito i-add. Kasi ginamit natin kanina yung subtraction. Ngayon, pag nag-check tayo or nag-look back tayo ay gagamitan natin ito ng addition. So, let us add 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. 9 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 in the decimal point. If the sum is equal to the minimum, meaning you got the correct answers. Okay? To end up our topic for today, always remember the steps in problem solving. We have understand the problem, plan, carry out the plan, or solve the problem, then look back. Diyan na naman nagtatapos ang uh, ating talakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Rai. nag ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe. Paalam!